This is game two of the opening round of the Fayetteville Regional. TCU for the Big 12 taking on Cal from the Pac-12. Power on the other side. This is the man, Andrew Vaughn, could be the top player in the country for the second year in a row with 50 career home runs. What he's done offensively is remarkable for this Cal team, not only last year, but then this year. Keep in mind, teams are trying to pitch around him, yet they can't, as he's been finding the gaps and hitting the ball almost at the same clip as he did last year. And now they've got the middle of the order hitting with him. This is going to be a great game. And Jared Horn will try to help out Vaughn and company at 6'4", 225 from a beautiful part of the country. And Napa, CA, he has already beaten UCLA and Stanford this year. Jared Horn has been very consistent and could arguably be one of the best pitchers in the Pac-12 because he throws 90 to 93 miles an hour. He's got two different curves. He'll vary that. He'll throw the change. But what he does very well is he commands the fastball. And when he's been commanding the pitches, he's been pitching well. And he can eat innings. In his past few starts, he hasn't gone less than eight innings for the Cal Bears. And in a regional tournament, that's going to help any pitching staff. Scotty really faces a good hitting team. Watson at 335, Gunther at 346, Riser at 313. There isn't anybody below 260 on this team, and they have a lot of two base hits to their credit so far. Hunter Wolf and then Jake Gunther and the TCU first. Good change of pace pitch, one out. Six in the Big 12, a record of 11 and 13, as Scott mentioned, the last team to make it to the NCAA tournament. Pounded to the gap. Up against the wall. And Hunter Wolf strolling into second base with a double. Runners go, that one's into the outfield. TCU's gonna grab a one nothing lead. Horn gets the strikeout, but the throw by Corey Lee was well over the head of the third baseman, Quentin Selma. Andrew Wolf scores, one nothing Frogs. To the mound for the first time as well, the left-hander is 6'6", he is 210 out of Welcome, Minnesota, population roughly 600 or so. He'll throw 90 to 92, he's got a curve and a changeup. The change is gonna be very important tonight. Cal is a good fastball hitting team. There's no better way to keep a team off your fastball than throw that change up. Cameron Eaton will lead it off. He's the center fielder batting 365. Then it's Quentin Selma and look out Andrew Vaughn batting through the top four hitters are over 320. Well, it's really been the emergence of Corey Lee in that four spot to give Andrew Vaughn that prote protection. Quentin Selma has been reaping the benefits of getting a lot of fastballs, but the top of this order can score some runs and set the tone of a game. Williamson again to deal a 3-2 pitch. Struck him out. Eden thought he drew a walk. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Brandon Williamson. Not a beautiful out pitch off the change. Baker trying to make it 20 for 20. And he did. He had a great jump. It was fastball up and relatively easy pitch for Humphreys to throw, but. Great position by the TCU defense on the line drive caught by Austin Henry. Turns out that Ray Tanner, who heads the committee, was able to make a decision on what the last team was because many of the teams had good arguments. Nice job by Gunther going the opposite field. Aboard with one out and a third. 2-2 two -two from Horn. This is where he has been devastating. And that one scarfed on the right field line. Gunther around second base. Into third. They're on the corners for TCU with one out and the third on a bullet by Austin Henry. Into left field to make it 2-0. Too hot to handle there. Runner now trying to advance into third. Slides and he is out. TCU tried to take advantage of the loose baseball and instead Henry is cut down. But Jake Gunther scores. It is 2-0 and 
favor of the Frogs. Well, TCU capitalizes on the play. Hits the ball hard. This gets through Selma. Number 10, Zach Humphreys. And by the time he chases it down, Austin Henry had ideas of beating all fielders to third base, but not to be. Two zero to Connor Mack, headed to center field, base hit, first of the game for Cal. That turns over the lineup to the leadoff hitter Cameron Eden. Of all the two strikes, a one out in the third with Cal down two nothing, and Eden out on strikes for the second time today. It's a big out. Good life Brandon on that Williamson. fastball. 93 miles an hour carry through the zone. Eden cannot catch up. They have worked some counts tonight. But Oviedo out on strikes. There are two outs now here in the fourth inning. Cal in a 2 0 hole here in the fourth. And Vaughn is aboard by way of the walk for the 59th time. Pitch around the plate before he leaves could square it up. To right field, base hit, Vaughn around second. Hands in the third, and the Bears have a threat now in the fourth. Red runners at first and third, and nobody out. Good piece of hitting by Corey Lee. Nice job by Corey Lee of taking this ball the other way with the hole vacated because. A.T. Snow, Barry Bonds, Kenny Lofton, part of that Giants team. They only won the World Series in 02. Runner goes, 3-2 pitch to the other side of the diamond. We'll score a run, and no chance to get Baker. Good piece of hitting. Excellent at bat. This is a pitch that most left-handed hitters can't get to. It's up out of his own. This pitch is up out of his zone, but starting the runner, starts the infielders to move, and he gets on top of that, hits it the other way. Oviedo can't do anything with it. It's a base hit. Cal has half the deficit. A run across and two runners on. Once again, 3-2 runners go. Strike three call. You start runners, you got people moving around. It creates holes and opportunities to score. Cal worked it to perfection. That one pounded toward left field and deep. And gone. Hunter Wolf gets that run back in a hurry. TCU again up by two. Hunter Wolf jumps on a breaking ball that hangs up in the zone. Location is everything. This one left up. Wolf takes advantage, gets that extension, generates that backspin, or spins the baseball. In baseball parlance. Yeah, look at the celebration. This breaking ball way up in the zone, breaks down to the barrel, and in the sweet spot of the swing of Hunter Wolf. That's quick hands, and I think he knew it as soon as he hit it. Sixth homer of the year. He has two extra base hits in this game. Both a homer and a double. Down the third base line. Up against the wall, run around second into third, and they will hold him. That's a double with two outs for Zach Humphreys. Good hustle by Connor Mack to get the ball in before Reiser had a notion to try to score. Horn off the stretch, look at third. Toward right field. Max Flyer hauls it in, and Horn out of trouble. But Hunter Wolf touched him for one to start the fifth, and it is 3-1 halfway through this game. TCU leading Cal. Two outs. And I don't know of a team that doesn't want that advantage, of course. What the score is at the end of the game is what matters most, but oftentimes when you jump out early, it sets the tone, particularly if you're facing a team that you don't see regularly during the year. Shepard aboard for the second time today to start the sixth. Florida trailing Dallas Baptist tonight, 4-2. to two. About ready to get to the top of the lineup once again. Good bunt. One play only, and that one gets away. Running around third, they will hold him, and it's second and third, nobody out. So a sacrifice and a throwing at her, and now runners in scoring position 
for TCU in the sixth. Anytime you put the ball in play, you put pressure on the defense, and it put pressure on Cal here as there was miscommunication between Selma and Horn on who was going to field this bunt. Nearly run into each other. Horn is the one who gets to it, but he rushes the throw. And makes a poor one at that as it short hops and gives a long hop. To Vaughn at first base. And that will be it for Jared Horn. Unable to get any outs here in the sixth. And the bases are loaded. Wolf set a big night. And that continues. Down the left field line, scores one. It will now score two. Hunter Wolf, third extra base hit of the night. 5-1 Frogs. Well, he continues to see the ball well and comes through in a big situation. Got a pitch that was in down a bit, but he gets the barrel out in front of the plate. Hits through this baseball with quick hands. That pitch is down, but he goes to get it. Hammers it into the left field corner. And will be rewarded with two RBIs. Both runners charge to Jared Horn. Toward center field and pounded. It's going to stay in play and it will score another run. Sacrifice fly for Jake Gunther. Third run of the inning. TCU 6 1. 2 and 26, but very impressive tonight. Henry base hit left field. Plating the seventh run of the game. That timely hitting, good pitching. Strong defense, all three that you look forward to in a regional opener. Bill Reyes, who came on in relief, usually pretty effective, has been charged with two runs. That one hit towards center field. It's going a long way. Gone! Johnny Reiser. What an inning for the Horn Frogs. Well, Riser got a pitch that was down. He stays down and through this baseball and generates that spin. Spins the ball. Ball carries. Look at him swing through that. High finish. He knew he hit it well. Barreled that one up. It carries on out. On left center field. TCU treating the California pitchers like it's batting practice. Double play ball at second, runner tag, throw to first. Nicely done. TCU came in with the most errors in the Big 12. Hunter Shepard to start the seventh, one, four, three. Tough play from third, one out. That's a nice job by Selma. Third baseman is trained to get anything that they can to their left. The reason why is their momentum's going to first base. Selma Best offensive numbers by any conference today belong to the SEC. This one to the opposite side. Only play first base. Now two outs in the inning on the throw over by Selma. Selma making another good play on a ball. This time at third, he fields it on the run. That one drops in. A ball off the end of the bat. Gunther was going back on it, trying to get to the ball. It created that funny English. It hits off the end of his glove. And now. Top three in the Cal lineup, 0 for 8. But Eden has a base hit. That'll stop that. 9 2 down the score. Is able to bring home Connor Mack. So Eden finally breaks through. Well, now as a hitter, you're looking for some confidence. This game may be out, might be out of hand. Gal does a good job of battling back this about as Eden gets the base hit through the middle. But Halen Green is warming up for TCU. Torch short. Nice stop. They'll get the force. And a good play by Oviedo. Preventing that one from getting into left field as Vaughn is retired. 
for the third time today. Charles King, a strike away from getting out of the inning. We'll cover first. Well done. Minimize the damage to just one run. On to the final inning. Base hit right field. They will send the runner home. 10-2 TCU. Bottom of the lineup with a walk, a hit, and a hit. Oviedo hits this ball through the right side. Kiefer is going to scamper around to score from second base. And that forces in a run. Wolf gets credit for his fourth run batted end of the game. Now and equally as important, I played good defense. Up in the air toward left field and down the line. That will score the third run of the inning. Give a sacrifice fly to Dean Fru in relief. Over here. Isola awaits the pitch. And that one off the drop third will score another run. It's a slider. It's going to go as a strikeout with that ball getting by. Strike three call, one out in the ninth. Yesterday, not only holding court for those watching batting practice, but also a number of the media. Toward right field. Game over. Crocs win it. And a runaway. That was a complete performance from this TCU team. Disciplined at bats, led to scoring opportunities, and they took advantage of them as they swung the bats extremely well tonight. Got some great pitching from Williamson and Charles King. Bullpen shuts it down, but it's a commanding win for TCU over Cal. Great reaction, too. So tomorrow night, winner's bracket Arkansas TCU and an elimination game tomorrow morning or afternoon, depending where you're at, Central Connecticut and Cal. Again, our final score on this one, TCU 13, California 2.